King with Jesus, kutebea na Yesu, kutwarana na Jesu, nikore umidio. Welcome to the program of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Miner, all the way from Minnesota. I bring you these messages every day of the week. Why should I do this? Because this is a mandate from heaven. Not only to Pastor Florence, but to you who is a believer, who has believed Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You've been given the Great Commission. I always say, and I have covered that in my book, Fear Not God is in Charge, that if you don't do the Great Commission, then you are doing the Great Omission. It is my prayer. After we share all this, after you hear many servants of God preaching, after you listen to inspiring song like that one that I have that I have just prayed, which it is me who have composed and recorded it, yet I, I'm still waiting to do the video of it. And uh, so you are there. You have the mandate to walk with Jesus, to do what Christ has called us to do. So without further ado, I want to remind you of my weekly schedule. Monday through Wednesday, I bring you inspiration word. Last days, I bring you celebrating in the kitchen with Pastor Florence. You need to check, you know, uh, what was going on uh, yesterday and every Thursday, if you have ever, ever missed it. And then Saturday, Sunday, I can take a break or bring you random inspirational messages. So today is when I bring you 
putting on the right gear for the weekend because it is a Friday. Hey, my guiding scriptures will be from the book of Colossians chapter 2, verse 6, and then First Peter. Oh, yeah, First Peter chapter 2, verse 21. I'll be reading from New King James Version in Jesus' name. But before that, I am going to pray. It is my prayer that as you are there, that the Lord will speak to you. And I also want to thank God for you. That you take time to listen, you take time to watch, you take time to share with other people. Because sharing is of importance. Can you imagine if this word blesses me? And I don't share with you. I see here people saying this was my word. If it is your word, let somebody else be blessed. And you, you have no idea... Somebody in Russia could be waiting for such a message as this one. But I don't have contact of them. It is you. Also, go back, go to YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check on my music. Just type Pastor Florence Minor song. And I know God will bless you in Jesus' name. I sang 45 songs. They are uh, well put in a flash drive. Imagine the power of technology. This flash drive holds 45 songs. Composed and recorded by Pastor Florence. Yes. May the Lord God bless you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for this day. Thank you for the privilege of sharing your word. Use me as a vessel. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee. And for my viewers and my listeners, I pray that they will be uninterrupted. They will, be not, they will not be distracted so that your word will go forth and seed into their heart which will be like good ground. That will be watered by the Holy Spirit to bring forth fruit of encouragement, of equipping and preparation for your second coming. I lift you higher for you have said that if you are lifted up you shall draw men to yourself. Do only what you can do. Use me as a vessel. Lord God Almighty, as you bless your people, do not pass me by. Let your word come forth with different revelation after I give it, O oh dear Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. P Today is when I bring you putting on the right gear for the weekend. Why? Friday is, for most people, we can start on Friday. And many things happen. Celebration. Like tomorrow, I have been invited for, to an event. Many things goes on. That's why we need to put on the right gear for our integrity, for our spiritual man, for our physical, and for our emotional. All right, in Jesus' name. Hear what the word of God says. I am going to start with the uh, second Peter, on the first Peter chapter 2, verse, 20, uh, verse 21. This is what it says. Hallelujah. For to this, let me start with verse 20. It says, for what credit is it? When you are beaten for your faults, you take it patiently. But when you do good and suffer, if you take it patiently, this is commendable before God. For to this you are called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps, following the steps of Christ. That's why I sang, walking with Jesus. It does not matter what you could be going through, but as long as you walk with Jesus, it is going to be well, my brother, my sister. Okay, now the other scripture that I'll be sharing with you is the book of um, Colossians chapter 2, verse 6. This is what it says, excuse me here. Uh, it says, as you therefore have received Christ Jesus, Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, rooted, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith as you have been taught, abiding in it with thanksgiving. I read uh, 6 and 7. Putting on the right gear for the weekend. How does this word tie or how is it relevant? As you've been called by Christ, walk with him. Now, we drive. And as you drive, the car that you drive, the make that you drive, it has, it, the way the, the gears are set are different. The car that I drive is different than the one I used to drive before. And so one time, I, <laughs> one time I was driving in a highway. And somehow, I have no idea whether from the beginning I did somehow. You know, the previous one was obvious. I could tell whether it is when it is on drive, when it is whatever. But this one, there is another one. I don't know where I touch. And then I was feeling and I'm in a highway. Like the, like the, 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 the wheels are coming off. And I was wondering, God, what is happening now? I had to stop somewhere. And when I stopped, I looked for a safe place to stop. Do you know, there was only a creek. I don't know when I started. I, I, I switched it to the side. Even now, I've still not. 
not yet completely mastered when it does that because that uh, was the second time. Now, what am I saying? We need to put on the right gear for the weekend. And you, when you don't put the right gear in your life, you already know. When I was driving my car, I felt there was something. Then I wondered, because it was snowing, and I wondered, is it maybe there, are, there is snow in between my tires or what is happening? I checked and everything was okay. It was like when, you are, like when you, are, you are driving on a hill, which I've never driven anyway on a hill, because I never used to drive back home. I don't want to cheat. Me, when you hear me singing about a guy, what guy, everything that I have, me, for you, Kama kuna watu wanajua neema ya Mungu ni nani ni mimi the grace of god the favor of god so coming back to my point putting on the right gear for the weekend as i was driving i felt something was not right i know you when you are walking in this life when you are walking with the immoral thoughts you know things are not right i may not know you but you know your father he may not know your spouse may not know but you know it is not right when you are discriminating somebody because of their status, because of their color, because of their classes, let me tell you, you already know. That is not putting on the right gear. When I talk about putting on the right gear, it's just a symbol. It's just an example. Nikufananisha, something which is relevant that you can understand. It's like a parable. Jesus used to preach in parables that people could understand. So when I talk about putting on the right gear for the weekend, I am talking of when you are putting on your character. When you are at home, don't just be holier than thou attitude, but to, you know, it is different. But most of the people, it is when you are out there, you are holier than thou attitude. I'm a pastor outside there, but not in my house. Or maybe I'm a pastor only on Sunday and when I am with other brethren, but not when I'm in my house or, or, house or when I'm at work. Let me tell you. Kutuarana na Jesu, walking with Jesus, kutabea na Jesu, nikuwa consistent in Jesus' name. In your deeds, you know, the way I behave, I don't change my character, my brother, my sister. I'll make fun like a crazy person because life is short. We need to enjoy. Kwa Yesu wakuna kuboeka. And for you who is there, who is portraying like salvation of serving God in kuboeka, you need to go back to where you started. So kama gomano ini majira mura atawakua. You know, preaching this word is fun. Serving the Lord is fun. Trusting the Lord is fun. When you are cooking in the house, when you know you are cooking, you are working with Jesus, it is fun. That is when on that is why on that days I will celebrate. I celebrate in the kitchen with joy. Sometimes my family members will be passing by and they are passing like they are just bedding down because they don't want to appear on the camera. Because with me, you know, I know. I am so much exposed to the presence of God that such that wherever I am, wherever I go, it doesn't matter. I have to sustain the standard. I have to reach the standard. I, I maybe I share this the, another day because there is a post I posted in a group that I was recently, you know, incorporated to, and I made sure I did not post some of these things because not many people like them or that. I want them to choose by their will. So I posted this one. I knew this one would work. Celebrating in the kitchen with Pastor Florence. And so when I went to work one of this shift and I don't work with this person, she said, Florence, I did not know you are pastor. Then I loved and I said, wow, tell me, do I, have I always walked to you like I am a pastor? When we work with you, have you seen like I am a pastor? And I said, you know, I work like a Seferian policeman. I do not go with a Cora by the way I do put the Cora when I have only, I have, when there is need to do that. There are times I also put it, put it with my Kraje out of it. But I want to tell you, my brother, my sister, what I'm putting, what I'm trying to bring here is, if you are on a highway, there is no way you can put on the, the, you know, the parking gear. When you are driving on a highway, there is no way you can put the reverse gear. My brother, my sister, there is no way unless you are in a car wash you can put your car in neutral it is my prayer that we shall be put on the right we will be put putting on the right gear for the weekend wherever we are weekend does not be saturday friday saturday and sunday every day you are walking or you are working you are working you are doing your stuff at home you are having a coffee date somewhere that is a place that you can be able to put on your gear put on the gear of self-control put on the right gear of the right character don't just show up because you go with people in church and you sing in the praise and worship team so you want them to know when you are with them you can start saying amazing grace how sweet it is 
how sweet that sound. Do you know it is not how much you, you behave well in the presence of your fellow Christians, like when you are in the midst of those people who do not even know God, because we are the letters to be read. Even they do a marua, since in barua, ya kusomwa na watu wabawa jamjua mungu. Hata kama siya dagi ni kisema mimi ni mchugaji. Lazima, people need to identify. There is something unique with this lady. There is something unique with this young man. There is something we look with this man. There is something unique with this child. My brother, my sister, we need to emulate and follow the, the manual of life. Just like you have that manual of your car. You know, sometimes when I'm driving, I'll feel like it is, no, it is not co coming up very well. Like now I have just felt like the, the, it's a little bit so warm in the room. I had to put the fan. You know, you cannot be so holier than that attitude. I've been sweating here, I've been sweating here, and I have the ability to press on a button to put on the fan so that I can be able to preach without having to wipe myself. You know, sometimes when I don't connect it, ready to go, I have it up. I, I have it love, and I have some some people around me because I'm a mother. I am a grandmother. Sometimes they are around me. I cannot stop to do this because they are there. And I said, I am busy. God will understand it today because my grandkids were with me, and I'm going to tell them to to keep quiet. Please, kids, if you could be quiet until I'm done, that will be good, and we'll be blessed together. Okay. The life of your living in that is the one that I am talking about. You don't have to be. You know, because I'm preaching, I'm going to let them make noise. They can understand. Can you understand? You kids keep quiet, okay? Okay? Good. Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys. So, when you are walking, when you are driving, when you are eating, whatever you are doing, when you are walking, when you are talking with your spouse, when you are walking, walking with, uh, talking with your children, when you are walking with your uh, colleagues, portray what gear you are putting on. It's not that I'm perfect. There are people I share with them what I'm going through, when I'm going through down time, down moment, and I share with them. I don't say, I'm a, I'm a pastor, I cannot share with them. Let me tell you. Well, you are going to die in isolation, in depression, we shall bury you, and things will still continue. It is good that you know the type you are, line you are living on. Put on the right gear for the weekend. If you feel that you are so much burden, share, confine to somebody. Have a David Jonathan relationship. Ha, if you are David, have a Jonathan. If you are Jonathan, have a David. David life was in danger, but because he had a cross friend, he had entrusted that friend said his life. Guess what? Jonathan, who was the son of Saul, hid David and prayed a good, pr uh, planned a good safe plan, safety plan. They made a safety plan for David for his life, which was being sought by the father of Jonathan. That's what I'm talking about. You cannot just live and say, because I'm a pastor, I cannot say this. People will say that I don't trust God. Maybe they will wonder whether I am saved. Let me tell you, I am a human. I go through situations. I go through challenges of life. I go through challenges of marriage. I go through challenges of work. I go through challenges of finances. I go through challenges of health. Ha! If you go to the doctor, have a friend you can confine with also tell them how you are feeling even before you go to the doctor. My brother, uh, my sister, I am not saying you tell the whole world. That you be that, 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 that media that the media be where you share your your stuff. I have a lot of stuff going on, but I always have somebody who can start with me. And I say, Might we tell you, I need the grace of God. I do not need to elaborate to them. I just need to tell them, remember me in your prayers. And even before I tell them, because God knows I'm walking with him, he'll press a burden in their eyes and they'll be praying for me. And later on, they'll be calling me, Pastor Florence, Oma Makahiga, Florence, I've been praying for you. I've been having a burden to pray for you. And there, lo and behold, God already knew that I was to be in battle and I would not have the chance to share with somebody. So he had to press that burden on somebody. Let us put on the right gear for the weekend. Okay, now when I had stopped my car when, and I checked the button that I had uh, uh, attached and I changed, I tried to drive br briefly and I was ready to stop again. But I tell you, it started driving so smoothly. You do, you, your life will be smooth when you check the gear you are walking on. You need to transition from parking to driving for your car to be in motion. 
you need to transition from rivers to uh, to driving if you are driving you need to put your gear into neutral if you are in a car wash you know what kind of life you are living you know if you are feeling low, put on the right gear of worship. You know if you are feeling discouraged, put on the right gear of reasoning to the men and women of God. If you if you relieve yourself by taking a shower, somebody was sharing with us that uh, when they are stressed, what they do, they take a shower and that one alone make them relieve their stress. So you are there. Let us put on the right gear for the weekend. How do we know that? We have to check on the manual when there is troubleshooting in your life, when there is troubleshooting in your emotions, when there is troubleshooting in your behavior. Check with the manual of this that God has given us, which is the Holy Word of God in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. I've given your word. Holy Spirit, water it, that it may bear fruit of encouragement to your people. And for me, your servant, if there is word, any word that I have added that you did not want your people to hear, oh Lord, filter it, that they may only hear that you had planned for them in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now, drivers, it does not matter whether you are with a driving permit or you have the real driver's license. It does not matter how many years you have driven, but you have to hold on the steering wheel by yourself. Even if you have your honey and your sugar and whatever with you on the co-driver's seat, when that accident happens, they are not going to be asked to write a statement. It is you who will be asked for your driver's license by the police. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter how many people you are working with. You are accountable for your own deeds. You are accountable for your own sin. That's why I'm encouraging you to trust the Lord. You are there. You have never given your life to the Lord. I'm talking to you. You are driving your own life. I can never drive my husband's life. He has to drive his own. I have to drive my own. I have children. I can never drive their life. Guys, they can drive it for themselves. By the way, it is good that we know also as parents and also children listen to me. Your parents are not responsible of your sins when you are over age 20. Like now, I have my son who will be turning 20 in December. He can rely on my prayers even though he can still pray. But once he hit 20, God will count him accountable for his own sins. That does not mean I'm not going to pray for him. I will intercede for him. I will stand in the gap for him. But he has to be accountable before God. When you have those breastfeeding children, you are accountable for their sins because you are bringing them up and they are right. You pray for them and you take care for them and nurture them. When they grow up, I have that, that plus, uh, 30 and almost 20 year old. Let me tell you, my brother, my sister. Sister, those children, I normally tell them, when I'm praying for you, I am interceding for you as a mother. But you have the responsibility to go before God as, as an individual. That's what I'm talking about as you are listening to me. It, it doesn't matter who is with you. It does not matter who prays for you. There are many people who prays for me. There are many people who prays for you. But when it comes to making that decision of trusting God, it is you and God. Hey. Kila mtu ata uchukua Mzigo wake mwenyewe Bili za mungu Siku iyo inakuja You know yourself, you, you want to trust God You want to say this prayer after me, Lord Jesus Thank you for your word I thank you for reminding me that I have to take a personal step to trust you I come to you, I repent of my sins Forgive me, dear Lord. Write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life. Two things important. Testimony of what has happened in your life because the Bible tells us in the book of Revelation. They overcame by the word of their testimony and by the blood of the, the, the lamb that speaketh better things. Second things. As I said, you now you can never be able to live in isolation and tell me, Oh, I have God with me. All I need is my God. Yeah, God, well, yeah, we trust God. But God also wants you to have people who can stand with you. Yeah, Moses, we don't know he spoke face to face to God. He needed people who could hold his heart on the right hand, on the right, on the left uh, uh, hand. Aaron and I needed to hold his hands. 
He also needed a, an advice when Jethro told him, what you are doing is not good. We need people who can sincerely tell us what you are doing is not good. You need people who can be with you. You need people whom you can share this burden with. Otherwise, the burden is gone away. Are you out? Don't die because you want to carry all the burden around. God has appointed people for your sake and through the spirit of discernment and wisdom, God will bring those people in your life in Jesus' name. They may be far, but they are reachable. Oh. That is what I mean. It is important when you find a place that you can be able to congregate with other people and encourage each other and find also a home church where you can go. We don't want to be homeless spiritually. We know how homelessness can be dangerous. May God bless you. Again, I want to remind you of my weekly schedule. Monday through Wednesdays, I bring you inspiration word. That's the celebrating in the kitchen with Pastor Florence, Fridays like today, putting on the right gear for the weekend, Saturday, Saturday I can take a break, break or bring you rather of inspiration or message depending on where I'll be in Jesus' name. I love you, God loves you the most. Remember to celebrate every moment, not just celebrating, but celebrating it with joy. Why? Every moment matters, every moment counts.